Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Now, before anybody goes saying I know where the toys are, it's, they literally just would not stay in position today. So I was like, I give up. I'm just going to have them down there. I'm not going to fuss too much about them. And then we'll see what happens next time. <laughs> Um, alright, okay, so with that out of the way, uh, this is going to very obviously, I think, at this point, be my February roundup. Um, I'm filming this at the start of the last full week of February, uh, just for context, this will be going up uh, the first week of March, which also has like the last couple of days of February as well, so it's going to be timed absolutely perfectly. Um, in case you're wondering, I'm no longer a video ahead. Um, essentially, with the situation that's been going on with my jaw, um, I essentially skipped over doing a wee video, um, just to sort of give my jaw a bit more of a chance to rest. Um, it's still very much up and down at the moment. Um, I mean, obviously last week I managed to do like a 20 minute long vlog, um, which was surprising but it, I, it happened to be on a day when my jaw wasn't feeling too bad um however when I was in work yesterday there were times where I was just literally there kind of just wishing I could just walk off the floor <laughs> um when I have done in the past for pain related reasons um but it was one of those where it was like it wasn't continuously in that state of really bad pain, it was just every now and then it, something would happen or it would do something and I would just be like, I can't take this anymore. But then it would like, like before I even had a chance to move, it would settle back down again for long enough for me to kind of go, okay, I'm just like blowing this out of proportion. And again, this is speaking as somebody who deals with chronic pain on a daily basis, um, my perception of pain is very different my tolerance for the kind of pain that i'm in is very different my way of thinking about pain is very different um so like most people in that situation would be like hey this keeps happening i should do something about it whereas mine is kind of like ah, it's not that bad most of the time it's fine i can keep going um so obviously on that note February has been a month of pain. <laughs> Thank you, Evie. Um, so February has very much been a month um, where certainly the pain in my jaw has been very much in the forefront of my mind. Um, I've also been doing a lot more, um, as I mentioned in, in the last vlog, um, to sort of try and maintain um, uh, my weight and keep on top of my general health and pain management. Um, so February has definitely been that kind of month where I, I, I've been very, very focused on what my body is doing and how my body is coping with various things um, and trying to mitigate as much of the pain levels as possible in a much more efficient way than maybe I have done in previous years. Um, we, losing my Christmas weight taking six months as opposed to sort of losing it in a couple of months which um, in terms of my joints is more reasonable and the fact that I'm I've been able to do it in a way which has also helped strengthen up my muscles a little bit more um, is probably a very positive way of looking at it and again just as I said last week my way of managing my pain is not going to work for everybody I'm fortunate that it works for me and I'm going to keep doing it this way for as long as it does keep working for me um but i completely understand it does not work for everybody it's not the right choice for everybody um but it works for me and in terms of how i want to live my life mitigating as much of the pain as possible is a big part of that because it's exhausting being in pain all the time so in terms of, and I can feel my jaw is already starting to play up quite a bit now. Um, again, that's probably to do with the fact that it was flaring up quite a bit yesterday. So it's probably like like last week, it wasn't so bad on the Sunday. So when I was doing this last Monday, um, it wasn't so bad to be doing it because like I like the pain level was lower. But for some reason, 
this week my pain level is higher in my jaw so this is probably going to be a short one which is good because it's like the February roundup um so uh things I have managed to achieve in February <laughs> Um, I managed to get my book, my tattoo booked in, um, like I planned, it's going to be in March, it's actually going to be exactly a week before my birthday, but you guys don't know when my birthday is, unless you know me personally, because I choose not to sort of say that, um, but it's going to be exactly a week before my birthday, so I'm really looking forward to that, um, hopefully it won't get cancelled again, like it did two years ago, um, uh, I've got the design, I really like the design, I've chosen my colours for the design, I've chosen my size and my location for the design. Um, last week I was basically in contact with the tattooist that I want to do it, uh, so it's not the same tattooist that did the one that I've got here, but it's the same one that did the one that I've got here, oh well it's the same parlour, it's not necessarily the same uh, tattooist. Um, and the reason I didn't go for the one that did this one, even though I do really like their work, is um so what was supposed to happen um after lockdown is they were supposed to contact me to try and rebook me in for that tattoo which never actually happened um i mean i haven't looked into it looked into it but i suspect that either a the parlor has shut down that the one because they, they were working at a fairly new parlor anyway um b they've just not gotten back to me and you know that's not the, the most reliable thing anyway and I want to sort of make sure this tattoo happens this time um so it's like a combination of those couple of things where I was like I, I really like their work I do really like their work um but the fact that they didn't get back to me suggests either a they're not working out of the same place that they were anymore um or it may, it may even be a case of they've, they've moved out of the city or something like that. I, I just don't know. And honestly, I can't be bothered to look into it. <laughs> I'm, I'm too lazy to look into it. Um, and B, the fact that they never got back into contact with me, like, after the length of time that it was, um, just means that they're not... It, it makes me worry about their reliability, um, which is unfortunate because, as I said, they do do really good work. And I think, like, even though I wouldn't necessarily have the design that I was talking about at the time in exactly the same way, um, I would still have been happy with it now um, if I'd had it in that original sort of in that original sort of way. Um, but then that would have been if I'd gotten it on that birthday. <laughs> I didn't get it on that birthday. Um, and if they'd gotten through contact with me like a few months later after I'd gone through the furlough period and I was starting to feel differently about things, I probably like there was no like fixed design for it anyway, so I probably would have rediscussed like how the design was going to be with them, but again, it's never got into contact with me, so yeah, I decided to go for the same parlor that did this one, um, just because they are a more established parlour, um, as I said, I, I've been to them before, so I know that they are, they've got good reputation, they uh, have safe practices and all that kind of thing, so I'm like, you know what, I just, for my own peace of mind, I want to go somewhere where I know it's going to do a reliable job, um, rather than waste my time chasing up somebody who uh, may not even still be practising in Plymouth anymore. Um, and if he's not, I hope where you know wherever he is, he's doing good business for himself. You know, it's not you know, it's not anybody's fault that things sort of worked out the way that they did. It was just like the global situation at the time. Um, but yeah, that that was kind of my thinking. Uh, so yeah, I as I said, I booked it for my tattoo for a week before my birthday. Um, it wasn't necessarily planned to do it 100% the week before, uh, like the exact like exactly a week before my birthday. Um, Things just kind of worked out that they were the way they kind of work out. Um, so I've now got two weeks off in March instead of one week off in March uh, because my brother and his family are coming down. They weren't able to come down over the Christmas, um, so they because uh, they were worried about like travel and stuff because they, they do live quite uh, quite a distance from here. Um, so they decided that they were going to come down uh, sort of March time instead, probably provided like everything settled down. 
And then after I booked the week off for my birthday, they decided to book off the week before, and I was like, ah. Um, so to make sort of like things a little bit easier, especially because my younger brother doesn't know exactly what sort of time he's going to have free, um, I sweet talked my manager into like I, I have extra holiday to use up anyway. <laughs> so I sweet sweet talked my manager into letting me have the second week off. Um, most of that week is going to definitely be spent with them. Um, they are already aware that I'm getting my tattoo done in the morning on the Thursday, but because it's like first thing in the morning on Thursday, I'm still going to have like the rest of the day to spend with them um, if we do stuff on that particular day. Um, if not, you know, I'm going to still see them on like every other day, hopefully, during that time, um, or at least most of the other days during that time, sort of depending on how things work out. Um, so it should be good. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And then, as I said, I've also got the holiday um, with the cute friend the week after which I'm also looking forward to. And again, I kind of wanted to get it done before going away um, because, you know, then it's going to, like, heal over that time. Um, I also wanted to, do, to get it done during my time off, so, like, most of the healing will be done um, before I go back to work, <laughs> hopefully. I mean, I know it's still going to take a while for it to, like, fully, fully heal, but if I can get through that initial phase without being in work, that would be quite good. Um, so yeah, that, that was something else I managed to accomplish in uh, February. What I did not manage to accomplish in February was changing my legal name. Um, fingers crossed, hopefully that should happen in the next couple of weeks. Um, it wasn't, we were sort of starting to talk about meeting up, um, potentially we can just gone but one of us was was already working the the saturday that we would have needed and the sunday um obviously i pretty much always work sundays um and uh, one of the other friends was also working sunday so like this weekend was sort of like pretty much rolled up straight away um i was hoping for this weekend um forgetting that i was scheduled to work both days this weekend it's so rare for me to work saturdays um like even in my back of my head I, I knew I had another Saturday coming up I just hadn't quite clocked on that it would be that weekend so obviously it then can't be this weekend um I don't know yet what I'm working the weekend after or the weekend after um obviously I do know I've got time off like coming up so if, if it you know ends up being uh, around there it ends up being around there uh, but both my friends are determined to make it happen for me before my birthday or around my birthday at the latest. Um, which is quite nice that they've, they've both kind of sort of like gone, yeah, we, we, we want to make sure this happens for you <laughs> sooner rather than later. Now, now things are starting to calm down a little bit more. We, we want to make sure this happens. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, so February can basically be summed up with lots of jaw pain. Um... I managed to book in a tattoo, um, but failed to get name changed. <laughs> um, and then just to sort of clarify for anybody who watches these videos who um, don't watch all of these videos, my author name is not changing, my pen name is not changing, so I will still be Isla, Golda, Isla Golden when it comes to my writing and to this channel. Um, when I talk about changing my legal name, I mean changing my non-pen name, <laughs> the, the name that I use on a daily basis for everything else. Um, my pen name is like a completely separate thing for me, so my pen name will remain the same. I'm not planning on changing that. Um, I like being Isla Golden when it comes to my writing, uh, both in terms of um, like the way it sounds. Uh, like, like, not for nothing, I do like the way it sounds, um, but also in terms of sort of keeping that slight separation between, like, me as a writer and me as a person. I mean, I know I do come on and I do these vlogs and I'm very much speaking as me as a person, um, but at the same time, sort of, like, having my own legal name as a separate thing, um, doesn't give me like 100% anonymity because obviously my face is here and I'm still sort of coming from my real life um, at all of these things and stuff like that. 
but it does mean that there is a separation between my author self and my real self so if at some point in time my writing like really takes off um yeah it, it, it's, it's that sort of nice little buffer between the two um but yeah that's just you know my my sort of way of thinking about it i mean originally i got the pen name because my original legal name that won't be my legal name for much longer <laughs> um is already somebody's author name um i didn't want to make things confusing so that there is a reason for that as well but also because i've already started to publish under isla golden and i like it as a pen name and i like sort of having like my author name being something slightly separate um because being an author is a huge part of my life but it's not all of my life and i like it sort of like taking up its own little zone but at the same time isla is not what i would want for my legal name um just because it's like i know what the origins of isla is <laughs> Like there is a video on this channel which explains the origin of Isla Golden. Um, I would suggest looking it up. Uh, but because I know what the origin of like my pen name is, it's also something that I'm like, yeah, I wouldn't have it as my legal name. Um, I like having a legal name that is separated from my pen name. Um, as I said, it gives that sort of. I keep saying referring to it as a buffer, I probably should be referring to it as a buffer because I said I come on and I do these vlogs and I do talk very much from like a genuine place of like this is my life and this is what goes on in it so it's not like I'm pretending to be somebody that I'm not um, but in terms of um, and, and I guess in terms of security, in terms of you know people sort of being able to like find me <laughs> Not that I worry about stuff like that. Um, I mean, I, I did very much grow up um, at a time where the internet was considered to be this very sort of dangerous place. Um, and I think I do still have a, a few... I mean, the, the internet is still, in a lot of ways, a bit of a dangerous place. I'm not going to like say it's a completely safe place now. It's dangerous for different reasons, um, as well as some of the reasons still sort of being the same, but it is definitely a dangerous place for slightly different reasons to what it was. Um, but in, in terms of like in terms of my own sense of security having that kind of like oh yeah Isla, Isla Golden is the author side of me and then my legal name is the rest of me um just I mean even though there's like a lot of blurring in the middle because I do this channel <laughs> um it still gives me that sort of like sense of I mean I'm not, like I, I, I would never sort of like come on here and, and say anything you know that I don't sort of believe or that I would not like want other, want to be traced back to my genuine self but it at the same time it does give that nice kind of separation of people know me as on here as Isla Golden they don't really know me by my birthday birth name they don't know what my date of birth is I mean they know that I live in Plymouth I, I talk very proudly about the fact that I am from Plymouth um but they don't know where i work they don't like have this very specific information about me it just it's a bit of a safety net for me it's a bit of a buffer for me between um what i'm doing online and in terms of my writing and the rest of my life even though i'm very open about my life when i come on and do these vlogs <laughs> i hope that makes sense it probably makes absolutely no sense and just just is what it is um anyway so yeah, <laughs> February has been round, rounded up and then some other stuff. Um, I hope you found this one sort of interesting. I hope you're looking forward to seeing what I'm going to be talking about next time. Hopefully I won't keep aggravating my jaw every single time I do these and I go for longer than I should be going for. I'm sure it's going to be a problem. <laughs> I'm so sure it's going to be a problem. Um, and I will see you next time. See ya. If you've enjoyed this video, consider checking out some of my others. And if you like what you see, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching. See ya.